Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the solutions to the solution to example four on buoyancy. So here is the problem: an object weighs 22 newtons in water and 30 newtons in oil of specific gravity 0.82 when fully submerged. When suspended, fully submerged. So determine the following: the volume of the object in cubic centimeters, the specific gravity of the object. The weight of the object in newtons when suspended fully submerged in glycerin of specific gravity 1.26. So let's draw the figure. So the 22 newtons is the suspended weight of the object when suspended fully submerged in water. So this is the object. It is fully submerged in water and the it weighs or the tension in the string or cord suspending the object is 32 newtons and the weight of the object in air is denoted by W and it is subjected to this buoyant force in water. Then in oil it weighs 30 newtons the suspended weight or the tension in the cord uh, attached to this object here. So the weight is weight of the object, same object in air is still denoted with W and it is subjected to buoyant force due to oil. So in water, the summation forces Y equals zero. So the equation is 22 plus buoyant force in water equals W or buoyant force in water plus 22 equals weight. And buoyant force in water is specific weight of water in newtons per cubic meter, 9810, times volume of the object, which we will denote V in cubic meter, plus 22 equals W. So call this equation 1. Then in oil, summation force SY equals 0. Buoyant force in oil plus 30 equals W. And W is 9810 V plus 22. So the buoyant force in oil is specific gravity of oil 0 0.82 times 9810 newtons per cubic meter times volume of the object plus 30 equals 9810 V plus 22 because W from equation 1 is 9810 V plus 22. So here only V is the unknown. Solving for V in cubic meter is 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meter. Then let's convert this to cubic centimeters because 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3 times quantity 100 cm per meter cube. So the volume in cubic centimeters is 4,531 cubic centimeters. Then the specific gravity of the object. So weight is equal to specific gravity of the object times specific weight of water times volume of the object. So that's the expressions or S times gamma of water is the specific weight of the object times volume. So where the weight is 9810 times volume which is 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 22 equals S times 9810 times 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3. So solving for S, S is 1.495. That's the specific gravity of the object. So that's why it will sink if not suspended in water as well as in oil. Then finally, the weight of the object in newtons when suspended fully submerged in glycerin. The specific gravity of glycerin is 1.26, which is less than 1.495. So still, the object will sink in water if if not suspended so even if it is suspended it will be totally submerged also in glycerin so this is the glycerin surface so summation for y equals zero we will call the suspended weight of the object in glycerin as wg so summation for y equals zero so wg plus buoyant force in glycerin equals w where W is equal to this expression here 
and buoyant force in glycerin is specific gravity of glycerin 1.26 times gamma of water 9810 newtons per cubic meter times volume which is volume of object object which is 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3. So WG plus 1.26 times 9810 times 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3 equals 9810 times 4.531 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 22. That's the weight of the object. So weight of object when suspended fully submerged in glycerin is equal to 10.44 Newton. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you were able to follow the solution because this is the basic problem on buoyancy.